in this video I will show you how to browse the default website of the virtual machine into the host so if we go to the IIS server we'll find the default website browse it we'll see this is the default website now we need to browse it on the host I have Mac and if I try to browse it, it didn't work so let's begin so the first thing I need first of all to power off the virtual machine then I need to go to the settings network the first choice is to use the NAT network so NAT network select NAT network and just click leave everything as default and okay then we go to the preferences network and here we add a new NAT network in the NAT network we click on port forwarding here we need to do to define the IP address of the host and its related or corresponded uh, guest IP address uh, we will def we'll find it later on so let's say I would like to use the default it's 127.0.0.1 and I want to use port 8080 for the guest IP address let's just type it right now 001 but this is not actually the actual one and here we have a all right so now we start the virtual machine now if we check the look if the we can browse the the default website it's not working right now now if we go to the preferences we will see that we need to change the guest IP in order to make it working so what we need to do is to go to IP config to configure which IP address this will be used IP config if you look at the IP addresses so here we have the default gateway and if you notice that there is IPv4 address this is the IP address that allows us or a link the virtual machine with the host so we use 10.0.2.4 so we go back to the guest IB and we type 10.0.2.4 we use the default IB uh, port okay 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 now let's try to use the this is a local host 8080 which is similar to in the preferences similar to that one 127.0.1 8080 this is for the host IB so if we try now to run on the host see it's running okay so this is the first way of doing that the second way of browsing the default website into the host is by using the host only adapter so let's go to the virtual machine and we go to the settings network so we need to change this uh, the settings of the network into host only adapter but before we doing that we need to go to the 
tools cost network manager and we need to create a, an adapter you see we have uh, created an adapter called vbox v not uh, net zero and this should be enabled now if we double click on it as you can see we have the IP address of the uh, adapter and we have the DHCP IP address we can leave it as bolt I, I but I can change it let's say I would like to make uh, the IP uh, address into 100 and for the DHCP server let's make it leave it to and here we can make it 101 apply close then we go to the settings network host only adapter as, as you can see we have this is the adapter vbox not uh, net zero and we just keep it same as, as it is. now it should be working all right let's go to the host uh, network manager again as you can see that this is the IP address of the uh, local virtual machine here this is the mask and this is in the DCHP server we, I can uh, use this IP address as the host in order to be able to connect with the virtual machine so 192.168.56.101 close we just close it and let's try to browse the, the local uh, or the website of the virtual machine so it's 192.168.56.10 enter as you can see we browsed the default website of the virtual machine at the host so this is the second way of browsing the default website thank you